breathing has been around since 1519. Without it, humans would be extinct. But what happens when you hold your breath for one month? In this video I basically do an entire playthrough without touching a single air block. But how? First I will show you the rules of this challenge. The oxygen bar must always be at zero. So no water breathing potions, no whatever this is, and none of the above. No camping allowed. Difficulty must be hard. And we aren't doing golden apples again. If I die, I lose. If I get out of the ocean and breathe a single bubble worth of oxygen, I lose. Now I know what you may be saying out loud at the screen. No human being can hold their breath for one month and come out alive. But Steve is no human. And I have found a way to survive one month without breathing a single oxygen. Here is how. As usual, I will be given time to prepare before the challenge. And I was going to use the survival world I used for the previous challenges since I already had lots of resources on it. But after loading it, I was reminded that I had lost everything due to me failing the 59km water bucket MLG. So it was time to go on a journey to recover my items. After arriving at a village near my death, I discovered my items laying in a valley. Miraculously, they did not despawn from the long journey or the version changes. The next thing I shall do for the challenge is to get a huge amount of pork chops. This is because when you are drowning, the minimum amount of effort required to not die from drowning is by eating pork chops to regenerate. The reason why I am not doing golden apples is that due to the void incident, we ran out of golden apple stock. So how much pork do we need to suffocate for one month? After doing a test and doing some multiplication and bringing over the decimal point, we need 1500 cooked pork chops. Even though Steve loses 1 heart per second from having no oxygen, this can be slowed down by the respiration and chant. Even though it is called respiration, it does not give me oxygen. It just makes me take less drowning damage. Now that is cool and all. But how exactly do we get 1500 cooked pork chops? The first possible method is flying all over the world and killing pigs. But that is the boring way. The cool way is using this free pork hoglin farm download no virus, since hoglins are the second mob that drop cooked pork chops when they die. And also they are more easily farmable than normal pigs. So how do we get this so called hoglin farm? It is really quite simple. We will need. Some wood. Some hoppers. Some construction materials and go mining. Due to the fact that this world generation was very corrupted due to constantly switching versions, there were now random mountains everywhere with exposed store deposits. Now that we have all the materials, I arrived at the nether and located the location known as the Crimson Forest. Step 2. Harvest Mushrooms. Step 2 of Step 2. Teleport above the bedrock. Then we make a platform and plant these mushrooms and make a trap on the other side of the platform. Then we go 90 blocks up and go away from keyboard. As you can see here, the species known as Hoglin, which only spawns in the Crimson Forest, is scared by the mushrooms, causing them to fall for my trap figuratively and literally. Now we wait for about one hour. After doing a renovation due to this farm catching on fire, I return to find stacks of the dead pig remains. We now had the materials needed to survive one month with no oxygen. Or did we? We have only dealt with one part of the problem. Because Steve will not be the only one in the ocean. Indeed, the drowned will be all over the place, with their dangerous green forks, also known as tridents. Not to mention I hard. said the challenge will must happen at hard difficulty must so the drowned will be extra buff. Therefore, we will need better stuff than just diamond equipment. More specifically, overpowered netherite equipment with maxed enchantments complete with a sword and shield and blah blah blah. We will need, 4 times 5 times 1 equals 20, 20 ancient debris to get all the netherite stuff. But as you may know, ancient debris is the hardest ore to find. It would take hundreds of TNT and hours of blast mining to unearth the delicious debris. But I don't care. The first step of making TNT was already done since we were drowning in gunpowder due to the hourglass-shaped creeper farm. The second step is the sand. 
which I will obtain by excavating. Actually I go by lots of names there is a better way to obtain sand this aforementioned method is using the sand gravity duplication glitch. Thank you. Except with the time it would have taken to build that, I already got enough sand from mining normally. Sometimes, the lazy way is the best way. Now that we had sufficient TNT, it was time to raise the funds needed for netherite equipment. While I was blasting away the nether, I got a bit too overconfident with all this flying around and dodging lava lakes with no fire resistance. When I was trying to go down this subway tunnel, I turned into a sideways pancake and died, leaving all my equipment in the nether, including the extremely valuable subscribe to I go by lots of names sword. A state of national emergency was declared until we could get this sword back. Speaking of which. Please subscribe for more insane and insane unbelievable challenges. But anyways I was lucky that most of my stuff was safe. And we also had netherite. But what is netherite equipment without overpowered enchantments? We would need sharpness, respiration, and depth strider. I was going to get all of that, but my enchantment book selling villagers got tired of being in my basement and staged a coup, leading to one guy escaping. So I made him unescape. After 30 minutes of the villagers refusing to give me the enchants, I finally bought them. And after grinding some more experience, I could combine them. Full enchanted netherite equipment. Check. 1500 cooked pork chops. Check. Hard mode difficulty. Check. Surviving 30 days with no oxygen. Not check. Which means there is only one thing left to do. Holding my breath for one month. And what better place to do this, than in the oceans near the pillager funnel of death. So after arriving at that location, I took one last look around me, and proceeded to sink to the ground. We started on day 72, so we would need to survive until day 102. It did not take a while until the effects of no oxygen kicked in. So then the pork chops also kicked in. But as it turns out, the real danger wasn't drowning. The real danger was being bored. We had to find something to do in the ocean before I decided to go play other games instead. And I found something. A buried treasure map. So I might as well go hunt for the treasure, which took me to the other side of the pillager funnel of death ocean. I discovered that the treasure was quite deep inland, but if I went out of water, the challenge was over. So I had to create some sort of canal leading towards the treasure, and in this aforementioned treasure, I found, the heart of the sea. Which I will save for later I guess. Speaking of treasure maps, it was very easy to lose track of where I was since all these different ocean areas looked the same. We would need to map this area. So after going in a deep underwater mining expedition for redstone, I created a compass for a map. And with paper obtained from mining sugar cane from below the water, I created the size for map, big enough to cover 2000 by 2000 blocks. Now it was time to go exploring to fill out the map, and find several different areas of interest. These include, an ocean monument, a seaside village, several more shipwrecks, and underwater caves leading to diamonds. I did most of the exploring next to the shorelines, and as it turns out, the shoreline was a mixture of two different world generators. Because some of these areas used different seeds. Eventually the entire map was filled out. So I added three more maps for the unexplored edges. In the north the ocean was boxed in by corrupt terrain generation, and a frozen ocean in the north. The west side was a peninsula leading into a forest. The south was kind of interesting because it had a mushroom biome. But that was it. Most of the water beyond these maps were dead ends. And this was all the ocean we had. The only side I could not get to was the east due to this inconvenient giant wall blocking me from going anywhere, except for a few rivers that allowed me to explore further. These rivers went as shallow as one block deep, so I had to make canals of water to connect rivers to continue my expedition. In the end, 
I found nothing useful. And I did a swim of shame back to the ocean. But as I was exploring the ocean, I had my eye on the Trident Titan. A fancy new toy. And after doing all this exploring I only got zero tridents. The drowned species was hard to find. But what if? That was the opposite. It was time to create a drowned farm, which requires a 80 block tall tower and some other contraptions. First we will need to find a good location to farm drowned. And what better place than the deep ocean? In the middle of the depths, I flattened out a large area for the construction site of the new farm. The farm design I'm using requires a turtle egg as bait to lure all the drowned into the death chamber. But since I did not have turtle eggs, I would become the bait myself. But first I would need to tower up about 100 blocks, which I did by using doors to create some sort of upward river, a a waterfall, without actually leaving the water. By standing on top of this tower, some RNG spawn mechanic thingy leads to the drowned spawning more in the center instead of all over the place, which makes them easier to farm. Some of these drowned held the precious trident. And after enough kills, I got the trident. Except this came in extremely low quality. To revive this from the brink of death, we would need mending and lots of experience. Which is impossible to accomplish without going out of the water. And this time I am not going to say, or is it, because this is it. Mending will have to wait until this challenge is over. So I was now stuck with a plastic knockoff trident. What now? I was done farming drowned. It was time for something more interesting. After doing all this exploring, I decided to settle down and maybe make some sort of base. But what type of base do we make? We would need a theme. These tutorials needed items that could only be obtained on land. And land means oxygen. So I was going to go with a sea monument themed house. After stealing some materials from the nearby ocean monument, I formed it into this. Which comes with a basement where all the equipment is. There is just one thing missing. An animal farm. Every good Minecraft base contains an animal farm. But how do we bring animals here? First I revisited the shipwrecks I found during the explorations. These ship loot boxes contain fresh wheat for luring animals, which I burglarized. Next I found this herd of cows in a nearby swamp, which I baited into the ocean, without exiting the water myself. There is one problem. These cows went at a slower speed than the Hubble expansion of space-time. This was going to take ages. And I was running out of food in my inventory. I should return to base for more food but I did not want to leave these cows in the middle of the turbulent seas. So I stole lily pads from the swamp to create a land bridge to help these cows cross the ocean. Eventually though, we reached a village that stuck out and blocked the way. So I dug a canal through the village specifically for the cows. Finally, after the heat death of the universe, I finally reached the mini sea monument. It was too risky to try to get the animals underground, so I was going to create a floating animal pen. Surprisingly, these cows were very floatable, and one layer of fences was enough to contain them. With this milk and some eggs I found while on the cow expedition, I created some cake to celebrate the success of the cow extraction. While this was gaming, it was not time to sit back and relax yet. It was time for the greatest project yet. No spoilers yet though. These squid all over the place were finally going to be useful, for their black dye. This dye, when combined with sand and gravel, and a bit of mining, creates black concrete. The perfect material for some pixel art. I went to a deep spot in the ocean to build this since this ocean graffiti was going to be tall. It was very easy to build this, since this water was basically scaffolding to go wherever I was building, without the effects of gravity and it appeared that the drowned were not so happy about being trolled. But even after building this troll face I was not satisfied. We would need to do something that was truly awesome. And I had the perfect idea. I got some random building materials and went to the ocean monument. We were going to prank these guardians. But of course, pranking usually leads to a negative physical response from the victim. This was the closest I have ever been to dying. Down to two hearts. Tens of guardians MLG sniping me. I had to constantly swim behind walls to dodge the lasers. 
and during the time I was at full health after recovering from all the drowning and guardians, I began putting down the first letter of my new pixel art. A hashtag there. A T here. An S around the corner. You can probably see where this is going. C. C's. Team C's. Now it is time for my PowerPoint on Ocean. Important announcement. Due to the amount of time it took to make this video I realized that I came too late to support Team C's. This is too sad. Anyways, with this sign done, I stuck around the Ocean Monument for a few days killing guardians because there was nothing else to do. And it was free experience. Eventually this got boring as well. So I went ocean exploring once again. I revisited all the ocean borders. I mapped out the middle of the oceans. And found some new areas that I originally thought were dead ends. I was basically on autopilot mode at that time, and was doing other things while eating pork chops. When I realized that one month was up. Not only did we hold our breath for one month, but we had done some pretty productive things, in my opinion. We have done everything ranging from getting an animal farm, making a cake, and building pixel art. Now, it was time to fix all this equipment, for the next challenge. Stay tuned. And shout out to the members of this channel.